Welcome to our service of night prayer. This is a quieter, more reflective service intended to be prayed towards the end of the day, a chance to reflect on all that's happened, to commit it to the Lord and to pray for his safekeeping through the night. So I invite you to join in with the words that will come in capital letters as we pray together and then reflect on a passage of scripture. Let's be quiet for a moment and pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let's say it together. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading this evening is from Matthew chapter 9, verses 27 to 34. As Jesus went on from there, two blind men followed him, calling out, Have mercy on us, son of David. When he had gone indoors, the blind men came to him, and he asked them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? Yes, Lord, they replied. Then he touched their eyes and said, According to your faith, let it be done to you. And their sight was restored. Jesus warned them sternly, See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread the news about him all over that region. While they were going out, a man who was demon-possessed and could not talk was brought to Jesus. And when the demon was driven out, the man who had been mute spoke. The crowd was amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, It is by the prince of demons that he drives out demons. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What do we see when we look at this picture? We may see water, land, light and clouds. We may see the way the light interacts with the water and clouds. We may notice the ripples on the water caused by the wind. If we look a little deeper, we may notice the beauty, the colours, the ripples at the bottom that suggest that someone has just dived in. We may notice the way this picture makes us feel, the joy that comes from such a scene. Looking deeper still, we may be able to imagine the heat coming from the sun or the coolness of the water. And even deeper, we may notice the perfection of the sun, the clouds, the water and the land, and how they were all created perfectly. If we only look with our eyes, we don't always see what else is there. In our reading, two blind men knew in their hearts that there was more to Jesus than just a teacher or rabbi. They could see that Jesus was their answer. Friends brought a mute man to Jesus because they could also see that he was the answer. But the Pharisees were blind to who Jesus was, even though they could see for themselves the miracles that he was able to do. It was not their eyes that were deceiving them, but their hearts. And so they could only see trouble. Trouble for themselves, no doubt. What they couldn't see was that Jesus was the light and living water and daily bread 
that they needed. They couldn't see it because they were not looking for it. To see God at work, we have to look. We have to notice. We have to ask and we have to be ready and committed to see. For instance, we take our food and water pretty much for granted. Early humans had to find and hunt for their food, find wood to create fire to cook with, track down water to drink. For most of us, we don't have to do that and so hardly even think about it. For some humans though, this is still their daily life, their daily struggle. If we take the basics of life so for granted, how can we notice the more subtle things? How can we stop ourselves from acting as the Pharisees did, not noticing when God is at work? So what do we see? What do we notice? The trouble that is around us? Or the light? The bread? The water? Each day do we notice where we are? How privileged we are? Do we notice what is going well? Where God is at work? And do we notice what God is calling us to notice and what God is calling us to do? We have light and water and bread. We have the light that is Jesus, living water that is Jesus, the daily bread that is Jesus. Our faith tells us that he is here. We need to ask him to open our eyes. Heavenly Father, open our eyes to see. Help us to see you clearly in our daily walk. Help us to be refreshed by streams of living water. Feed us with daily bread. Give us hearts of blind people who have the faith to trust that you can help us to see. In Jesus' name. Amen. And so let's pray together. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of his creation. And may our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen.